Well, hello everybody. Thanks for coming back to the channel. If you've never been here, thanks for popping in to check this one out. So jumping right into this guys today, I am showing you this little piece of software called Specky. Um, this is a really great piece of software, really easy to use, and it actually provides quite a bit of information about your computer. Um, and you don't have to just have it on your computer if you know, you're trying to work on somebody else's computer for them and um, they don't know what they have hardware wise, this is a nice little tool to install real quick to just grab everything that you need. So real quick guys, let's, um, let's take a look at this. The first thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go down this list here and show you some things, but let's look at some setup stuff first because I'm seeing that like this is in Celsius. These temperatures are in Celsius. So um, let's scroll through here, scroll through here, and I will show you uh, different little setup stuff. So right from the top, um, load snapshot, we will have to understand saving a snapshot first. So basically what this does, if you go in here and you hit save snapshot, it will basically, uh, it's going to save it in a specy file. It's going to grab a snapshot of all of your hardware and software setup, basically. And it will save that to a file. Um, so then later you can reload that, then you can load the snapshot. Um, so also about the, I'm not really sure what published snapshot is. I have not looked into that. Um, but you can also come in here and just save a text version of everything, which is what I've done before. Um, if you just go to save as text file, you can name it whatever you want and just save it to wherever you want. And when you open it, it gives you just a text human readable list of everything in here. Um, so that's what those are for. You can also do it in an XML file if you're used to XML. Or if you are old school, you can go ahead and print it all out. Um, you can also print to PDF too. If uh, you have a PDF driver in your system, you can just make a PDF out of it. So if we go here to view, um, it's going to show navigation menu, which is what this is, this little menu here. So that should be automatically just pre-checked. Um, then you can go here and you can skip to sections. I find this funny because you can actually just go here to the navigation menu and click the section that you want. Um, so uh, we're not going to mess with that. Uh, but if you go down here to options, this is kind of what we want here. Um, as you see, as I pointed out, these are in Celsius. Here is where you would change that to Fahrenheit. And if you wanted this in a different language, you could most certainly choose that. Um, update, this is just, uh, you check this if you want Specky to inform you of updates. Um, and then you got some advanced stuff here. You can save all settings to an any file or skip user account control warning. Let's see, system tray. If you click this when you close Specky, it will just minimize to your system tray down here. And then privacy, that's basically just their privacy policy uh, if you want to read that. So the only thing we've changed here is we've changed this to Imperial for Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna hit okay on that. And then this other thing to show you here, help. Um, this basically online help just basically takes you to their website and about basically just tells you about what version of Specky you have. You have the option to upgrade to Pro. I am not sure what the difference is between uh, the free version and the Pro version are. Uh, never looked into it, never needed it, just needed to grab some information here. So that's up to you guys if you want to do that. So moving back to this, guys, on summary, this basically gives you the layout right here um, of everything in your system. It shows you what operating system you're running. And even if it's the pro and you know, whatever bit, 32 or 64, most are running 64. It gives you what CPU you are running and tells you the operating temperature, um, RAM, uh, motherboard, gives you the motherboard's temperature as well. Now under here, under graphics, it shows you, I have three monitors, so it's listing all three of my monitors and it's telling you about the video card that you have and even gives you temperature on that, which is pretty cool. Now on these temperature things, you can actually click this graph here and you can kind of watch this run in real time. So if you're having fluctuating temperatures, you can kind of see when it went up, when it went down and kind of compare it to what you were doing, stuff like that. Uh, storage is the same. 
it's showing my two eight terabyte Seagates and they're running at 96 degrees Fahrenheit and it shows my primary solid state 990 Pro not sure the way that's not given a temperature um, that is a different type of drive an NVMe drive uh, but there are other ways to check your operating temperatures for your drives too not detecting any optical drives because it's not the year 2000 and a lot of people don't use optical drives anymore optical drives basically just means a cd drive and audio it tells you what audio you have um, you go here to operating system and it's just your basic stuff too um, the only thing i don't like about this is it does not give your product key you can see right here it'll give your serial number but that is not your product key a lot of people get those confused um, and it will just it kind of just summarizes you know like your windows updates how you have that set your different antiviruses what you have there um, your frameworks installed and just all the all kinds of different very useful stuff here that could just come in handy scroll all the way down you got these sub menus here it'll show you what hot fixes you have installed it'll even show you what hot fixes you don't have installed that you need um, and the list goes on, even like to what processes you're running. Um, so that's kind of cool as well. So let's go back up. We are on operating system. Now let's pop over to our CPU. Um, again, it gives you the CPU, what you're running. Um, it will, you know, give you what the fan speed is currently, um, your bus speed, etc., etc. It tells you what every single core is doing stuff like that so pretty useful there pop down to ram random access memory um, it'll tell you how much you have in there how many how much you've used and stuff like that so really cool um go down here to motherboard i really like this one uh, this gives you all the information you need to know about your motherboard including the current version of the bios so you can actually cross reference what your current version is Head on over to their website, and if they got a new updated version, you know it's kind of time to update your BIOS there. Um, but it goes down and tells you, you know, what slots you have, what slots are available, and stuff like that. So really cool there. Move back down to graphics here. And it's kind of what we've seen on the first page here. Most of this is what we see on the first page, but it's extended. So it shows all my monitors. shows my GPU back down here. We'll go back down to storage and the same old same old i mean it's showing uh you know my one of my seagate eight terabytes there and then it will show the other one there and then come back down to my 990 pro here and again it just tells you how many partitions are on them uh, how much what the capacity is and stuff like that so really good information to have if you're trying to diagnose or just out of simple curiosity really optical drives we've already covered that uh, nothing there and then audio on that it gives you different audio stuff peripherals is interesting it tells you pretty much everything attached to your system here um, so including your mouse and keyboard and even what headset you have and stuff like that so very valuable for that it shows you what printers you have and stuff like that so um, a lot of good information there and the one thing i will not click on on this um just to show you guys it has a lot of good information but i'm not going to click on it because it, it does reveal your ip address and i'm not willing to reveal my ip address on a video um so but yeah on your guys's system you download this click on network a lot of great network stuff including like what LAN you have and you know different what the speed is and stuff like that shows your IP and all that kind of good stuff and some also some internal networking stuff if you happen to have like a uh, home internal network but anyway guys yeah that is about it if you're interested in having this I've got the link down in the description below for you to download um, like I said it is free there is a pro version not sure what uh, what's covered under the pro version but uh, the free version does really good enough for most people and uh, yeah guys check that out link in the description below thanks guys and have a great day